Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. More like welcome back to my kitchen. I'm copying Siri on this one. But welcome back to my kitchen. It's been so long since I did a recipe video and I put a poll on Instagram. I'll probably maybe put a picture right here. But I asked if I should do a recipe video and actually a lot of you were interested in my recipe video. So here I am giving you guys another recipe video after over a year. But Anyways, today's video I am going to be filming an Unkwabi recipe. Um, yeah, in the poll, Unkwabi actually won, even though um, I was going to do Abacha first, but you guys, I'm giving you guys what you guys asked for, okay? So I'm going to be filming an Unkwabi recipe. And you guys, disclaimer this is how I do it, this is my style of making it. It doesn't make it right or wrong, it's just how I do it. So this is me sharing my recipe with you guys my secret recipe <laughs> with you guys so if you want to see how i make mkobi just make sure to keep on watching so guys obviously the first thing you need for mkobi is your meat in this case i am using um cow leg normally i actually make mkobi with goat meat and i know a lot of people make mkobi with goat meat or even chicken but this recipe i'm using cow leg which is the original you know mkobi meat so anyways my meat has already been washed and cleaned this is 2000 naira worth of cow leg by the way just in case someone wants to know and then i am going to cook the cow leg in a pressure cooker and this is just to you know make the process a lot faster i'm just going to add the cow leg water and i'm going to put enough water just because you're not going to open this thing till this meat is done so you just have to add enough water then i'm going to spice um season it with just salt and seasoning cubes then i'm just going to cover this and let this cook i think this cooked for about 20 minutes or a little bit less because when you're using pressure cooker it cooks really fast i think when you're using a normal pot it's like double or triple the time it will take to cook so i covered this and just let it cook for about 20 minutes so moving on to the spices you're going to be needed crayfish pepper and onions these are the three spices i'm going to be blending together this is the quantity i use for the particular amount of meat i had that day so if you're using more or less then you know what you're going to need I use very little pepper because my husband is a pepper fan which is so sad because I actually love pepper so much and I just use one medium sized onions because I don't want the onions to be overwhelming and I just blended it all together I don't like to blend this smooth I like it to look chopped then the second ingredient you're going to need more like the fourth is this thing called ehuru I don't know the English name so I usually buy it like this from the market. I think it has already been fried. So then again, I'm going to blend this into powder form. This is what it looks like after it has been well blended. And then the fifth ingredient, I believe, is this thing called account. I don't know the English name as well. I think it's potash. I think it's potash. Anyways, you're supposed to soak this inside water and just let it sit there and melt. This is it soaked. And then after it melts a little bit, you can see the water is a lot darker. And I still let it sit for another like five to ten minutes before I used it on that day. And then the next ingredient, obviously, is um, obaka, which is mm, I don't know the English name. Anyways, this is optional. This is not compulsory, but literally, I've eaten half of this here already. It tastes so good. And you're going to need red oil, of course. I didn't use all this. I used like a cup or so. And then your boiled meat so for me this is literally all i use and the next two things i use is just onions and um otazi this is otazi leaf it's very very bitter this is just to you know decorate the food and make it look good so moving on to preparing the food i first of all go ahead and pour my oil in a pot this oil right here is about one cup and then i'm going to go ahead and sieve out my account which is the potash i think and just I normally sieve it out because it tends to have stones sometimes so sieving it makes it just smooth for you so you don't bite or choose or chew on a stone and then I'm going to keep turning this you can notice that as you turn it it becomes thicker and thicker and thicker so I'm going to turn this till you know it gets to the consistency that I want <laughs> So 
so now i'm going to go ahead and add the stuffs i blended so first i'm adding this crayfish pepper and onion trial but i didn't add it all even though later i went ahead and added it because at this point i thought it was going to be a lot then i went ahead and added the ehu that i blended as well and after that i am going to go ahead and season this i'm going to use a little bit of salt just enough for the quantity of food i'm cooking obviously and then i am going to add um seasoning cubes <laughs> at this point you guys can see how yummy this looks already at this point it already tastes so good like i can actually lick this or eat this with rice or yam or anything that is how much i love this recipe anyways after i finish tearing all this together i am going to go ahead and add my obaka and equally stir it together as well <laughs> and just because i felt like we needed a little bit more pepper after i tasted it i went ahead and added a little bit of black pepper which is cameroon pepper and stirred that together before i finally went ahead and poured the meat in can you guys see how rich this looks literally i feel like eating this all over again by just watching this video whenever i bite this is really so watery and just so dry which is why i prefer to make this at home because i can put enough of everything i want to put inside you know i'm, I'm not going to be stingy to myself so basically i'm just going to stir this together very well and go ahead and plate it you guys part of my plating i am so bad at plating but since i plan on making more recipe videos i am going to up my plating game maybe even buy more plates and stuff like that but anyways i'm just going to go ahead and put the meat and garnish it with the um otazi and uh, what's it called and onions and there we have it guys this is my nkobi recipe hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you tried this recipe please let me know um you know tag me your pictures if you put it on instagram or anywhere i would definitely love to see actually it's going to make me very happy you know to see people use my recipe <sighs> thank you so much for watching guys thumbs up subscribe comment and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys